Robbie Ward from Rips to see his 240Z. Hanging out in good old road of Vegas with Robbie Ward and uh, his uh, 240Z. Now this car, it's been doing a hell of a lot of wheel stands uh, recently. Why have you been doing that, Robbie? Just a bit of a show off. Uh, no, not really, mate. We, we've uh, found that the, the transmission hasn't been quite right, so we arrived at the Nats and we thought, well, we're here, and uh, rather than just be a bit of a sook, we thought we'd wind her up and at least get some good launches going for everybody. So, yeah, we, we just got to detune the wheel stands a little bit, and uh, then uh, once the transmission's sorted, we'll be a lot quicker. I was running nine ones at 150 miles an hour. Um, With wheel stands included? Including wheel stands and basically no top gear. So, uh, well, top gear, but it's just slip, slipping all the way. Just, yeah. So, uh, yeah, nowhere near the power that it can have, and no nitrous yet. On the dyno, we've uh, been testing a 250 shot, and uh, the, the motor can make the power no problem at all. Well, it actually all started on, uh, on Trade Me, as I suppose a lot of projects do. Uh, I saw it there with a uh, small block Chev in it, and I liked the old school sort of thing, and it was something a bit different. Basically, with the setup of the car, we could throw pretty much whatever power we could make at it and use it to test the engines. From the day that I saw it, I decided that it was exactly what I wanted, and uh, I was sort of hoping that it might do some good wheel stands as well, which it does, so. Well, RB30s is pretty much what I specialise in. 99% of the motors I build are RB30s. Um, to be honest with you, the 26s don't do it for me. They, they just haven't got the low down and the mid-range torque that the three litres have got. So a number on a piece of paper doesn't mean a hell of a lot to me. It's the way it drives and how much torque it's got. 